Hey people, welcome to Taste Buds, the show that takes you on a culinary adventure across the globe. My name is Chef Stone and today we're going to take a trip to China. On today's show, I'm going to show you how to make Chinese special fried rice and chicken in sweet and sour sauce. When I was growing up, I always used to think Chinese food was magic. My dad always used to take us out to Chinese restaurants and I loved the food, but I never thought I could make it myself until I discovered just how easy it is to make Chinese food. And today we're going to have some fun. These are the ingredients we're going to need. We're going to need some garlic, stock cubes, spring onions, some eggs, onions, carrots, some bell peppers. The more the colors, the better. Some Worcester sauce, some ketchup, some white wine vinegar, some sesame oil, some dark soy sauce, some chicken stock or chicken broth, uh, fresh lemons, garlic flakes, black pepper, salt, pineapples, sunflower oil, chicken fillets, and some cooked white rice. The big issue, a lot of people, people ask me this question every time. I can't get ingredients in Nigeria, but all these ingredients, you can find them right here in Nigeria. Right, so we want to bring some fun right back into the kitchen. We want to get you cooking at home. Uh, first thing, I'm going to take my watch off, so you know I mean business. And 90% of, of cooking Chinese food is prep work. So we're going to prep all our stuff. Uh, first thing is we're going to cut up our vegetables. So I'm going to show you a very easy way to do this. First things first, you take, it, you take out the sides just like that. As you can see, it comes off very easy. And then I'll take off the bottom as well. Okay? And then I want to start to slice them. Now, you want to make sure that you tuck your fingers away. You don't want to risk cutting your fingers off. Trust me, everyone has cut themselves at some point. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place my fingers right on there. And then my thumb, I'm going to make sure it's right behind. Yeah, so I don't risk cutting myself. So I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to slice it down just like that. And you can see how easy that is. And all I need to do is move my fingers back. Very simple. And then I want to cut them into smaller cubes. So I'm going to turn them around. And then the same method, I'm just going to hold it down and just start to cut. People go on about how difficult it is, oh, cooking is so stressful. I tell them they're doing it wrong. Cooking can be so much fun. So I'm going to do that again for this. And then the same rock chop method, we're going to go on, yeah. I'm sure you're all going to try this at home when we're done. So remember, the peppers are going to go in our rice. So we want to make sure they are nice and subtle. Not too big. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. So that's all the peppers I'm going to use for this. Now we're going to take our carrots as well. And then I'm just going to chop off the ends. going to cut it in half. And I'm going to slice it up. And again, the same method, start to cut it. Okay, so now we're going to mince our garlic. So there you go. So 
So the best way to do this again, we're gonna just slice them so the flat side is down. This stops it moving around. And then we're gonna do something called the cross chopping. So basically, all you do is just cross chop it. Now this is the easiest method to learn to cut because your fingers are never in the way when you're cutting. So now, it's just our chicken we need to prop. So I'm just gonna clean that out. Just rinse it out real good. And what I wanna do is I wanna cut them into really small pieces. So first things first, I'm gonna cut it into half here. And basically, I'm just gonna There you go. Now, what you want to do is you want to try to season your chicken a little bit so it's just not bland. You don't want bland chicken in there. So I'm just going to get a bowl. I'll pop my chicken in there. And then I'm going to use a little bit of black pepper. I'm going to grind onto it. Some salt. And stock cube, so we're just going to crush one in there. And then you just want to use your hand to mix it all together. Make sure it's well seasoned. The trick to stir frying is making sure you have all your ingredients on hand. You don't want to be running around. Because when you're stir frying, the, it, it works very, very quickly. You want to work very quick. So you don't want to be running around grabbing ingredients here and there. So we have everything already set up here. So all we're going to do is now stir fry it. So I'm gonna just light this up. Okay. So the reason you wanna use a wok for this is the wok allows the heat to penetrate the pan a lot better. So it gets very hot very quickly. So that's why you wanna wok real fast. I'm sure you're all gonna try this at home. Um, and then you can send me your pictures. See you right after the break. Welcome back. Now we're gonna start the stir frying process. Now, most of Chinese food is stir frying and it's so easy. Anyone can do it. I'll show you just how easy it is. So make sure if you don't have a wok, you can use the frying pan. So I'm just gonna stack this up. So I'm just gonna wait for the wok to eat up a little bit. And we're using something called sesame oil. Now sesame oil, you can buy it just about anywhere. And it gives it that fragrance that we all love from Chinese food. So that's nice. This is just how I like it, just hot enough. So I'm just gonna pop the sesame oil in there. You need about two teaspoons of sesame oil. So I'm just gonna turn the wok, just so it coats the wok. So I'm gonna let that eat up a little bit. And you know in Africa, we love to cook our meat very well. Now normally I'd start with my garlic and my onions, but for this, I'm actually gonna start with my chicken so that it gives it enough time to cook properly. I'm just gonna pop that right in there. You want that sizzle, you want it to sizzle. Now, like the name suggests, it's stir frying, so we wanna to continue to stir it. Now, the next thing I'm going to add to this are my carrots. The reason I'm adding my carrots now is I want them to soften. I don't want them too crunchy when you're eating your rice. So I'm going to stir that in. Going to stir it a little bit longer and then we're going to add our peppers to that. So we're just going to season it just a little bit right now. So a little bit of salt, not too much. Black pepper, I love black pepper. I use it for just about anything. There we go. So I'm just gonna stir that very well. And now I wanna break some eggs in. Yes, I said it, eggs. We're gonna break it right in there. 
So I'm going to use two eggs. And then we're just going to scramble the eggs in. So just keep turning. Now, for the rice, you want to make sure your rice is nice and cold. Chinese people normally use day-old rice. So they cook their rice a day before and they use it the next day. So you can also do that. Keep your rice in the fridge and just let it cool down completely. You don't want hot rice because they're going to stick together in the pot and they're going to mash it up. This is perfect. This is the consistency I'm looking for. The eggs are nice and fried in them. And now I'm just going to pop in my rice. Just going to pop that in. Now, after the break, we are going to finish up on our rice and start with our sauce. Don't go anywhere. Welcome right back. Now, you can see just how beautiful that's looking. We're stirring the rice in now. And that, that just looks beautiful. But we're not done just yet. We're going to add some soy sauce to it. Now, this is the secret to Chinese cooking. Beautiful soy sauce. It gives it a beautiful taste. Remember, that contains some salt, so you don't want to overgo, you don't want to go overboard on it. So we're just going to add some. And then we're going to stir it in. See, that gives it some color as well. So it's going to make it darker. Now, if you can't find dark soy sauce, you can use the light one. That works as well. So I want to cut my chicken. And what I want to do is I want to cut them into strips. Again, I'm going to cut them into thinner flat pieces. Now, chicken fillets are LV. They are very, very good for you because they contain very little fat and no skin at all. And again, you can get this from your local supermarket. You can get them from the, some markets do sell them as well. Now we're gonna season our chicken once again. I'm just gonna season it right on the board. A little bit of salt. You know, people always tend to overcompensate with over seasoning their food. You don't need to do that. Just a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper. You don't have to add loads and loads and stuff to it, that's fine. There we go. And what I want to make now is called a batter. Now for this, we are going to need some flour and some corn flour. So we're gonna get a bowl. You don't have to worry about measurements. We're not baking anything here, so you'll be fine. So I'm just gonna use two spoons of flour and two spoons of corn flour as well. A little bit of black pepper. Salt. You need less than a teaspoon of boat will do. We just don't want it just bland. And stock cube. And I'm just gonna mix that together. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it. Just add it in bits. You don't have to pour everything in at once. Just add it in bit, mix it up. And then I'm just gonna add some more. We're gonna take the chicken. And basically we just wanna coat it. So just drop it in. Cut it all around and then just drop it here. So we're just going to continue to do that. If you put them all in at once, they're all just going to stick together. Right, so we're going to pop the pan on fire and we're going to put in some sunflower oil. So we want to deep fry it, so we're going to need quite a little bit of oil. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for that to eat up. So while we are waiting for the oil to get hot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my sweet and sour sauce together. So I'm going to add some ketchup. So I'm going to go with about four spoons of ketchup. Tablespoon. Some white wine vinegar. 
Now we just want a little bit of white wine vinegar because we don't want, the white wine vinegar is going to make it sour. So we don't want it too sour. I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper to give it a little bit of a spicy taste. And then I'm gonna add some lemon juice to it. I'm just gonna pop that in. I'm just gonna hold that for the seeds. Just ah, of a lemon will do. Now my pan is nice and hot now, so I'm just gonna pop my chicken in there. Now the corn flour is going to allow it to be crispy, so we want it to be a little bit crispy. So that's, that's what the corn flour is going to do. And we just want it to be golden brown. That's all, we don't want to over fry it. We don't want to fry it until it's dry. We want it just golden brown. Now, while that's frying as well, I'm just going to chop some vegetables. I want to put some vegetables in it just to give it some color. Now, I want you to send in your attempts when you try to make this at home to us via our social media network. You know, let's get cooking. I want to get Nigeria cooking. I want to get everybody cooking. Send it right to me and you might just win a chance to come right here to our studio to cook with me. And it's time to really start the sweet and sour sauce. Now we're going to get another pan and we're going to start again with our sesame oil. The same oil we use for the rice. We're just going to pop that in there, just a little bit. About two tablespoons will do. And then I'm going to pop my chicken back in. And now I'm going to pour my sauce in there. So my sweet and sour sauce that I mixed up earlier. I'm just going to pop it in. And I'm going to start to turn it into the sauce. I don't want it to be all liquid. So I'm going to mix some corn flour in some water and add that to it as well. So about one tablespoon of corn flour and just dissolve that in the water. Now this is going to serve as the thickening agent that's going to help my sauce to thicken and become a sauce, not just watery. So I'm just going to pour that in and then I'm going to start to stir and immediately it's going to start to turn into a sauce. As you can see, it's getting thick already. And it's starting to have that sweet and sour look. Now I'm gonna add my vegetables in now. And then some pineapples. And I'm gonna pop some spring onions on top. And then when we come back, we're gonna plate this and then we're gonna give it some good tasting. Welcome back. Before the break, we made Chinese special fried rice and sweet and sour sauce. Now we wanna plate it and we wanna enjoy it. With Chinese food, food in a box. So we just wanna get some rice on the plate. And basically, I'm just gonna put the sauce right on top because with every spoonful of rice, I wanna enjoy the sauce. And this just looks like one beautiful dinner you just want to enjoy. Let's now taste that. Now all the beautiful colors, the vegetables, they all add to making it very, very nice. And we're gonna taste this, so I'm just gonna pick up some chicken and some rice. I wish you could taste this just through your TV screens. I know some of you just wanna dig in right through there, but the only way to do that is to make that at home. So I'm just gonna keep enjoying this. Stay tuned for our nutritional tips. Now for our nutritional tip of the week. Always crack an egg on a flat surface, not the edge of a pan or a pot. You can risk contaminating your food by having eggshells in it. 
except you're a pro like me, of course. It's so sad to leave you guys. I've enjoyed cooking with you guys so much. I've had so much fun, and I'm sure you guys are gonna try this at home. See you on another tasteful episode of Taste Buds. Until next time, this is Chef Stone, signing out. Thank you.